Hey guys, I have another haul video for you. I have been shopping too much. Anyway, okay, so listen. I went to Ross and I got two kind of, I don't know if they're like exciting for anybody else, but they're exciting for me. Um, I got the shampoo and conditioner that I've been wanting to try for so long. And I saw this and I was like, you know what? I just need to buy it. It's the Man and Tail and Body Shampoo. And this is for shiny manageable hair. And I got the conditioner as well. That's what they look like. And I don't know, like, my shampoo and conditioner, the Trust Me one, it works okay, but it's not my favorite. Like, I feel like my hair is a little soft when I use it, but not, like, nearly as soft as it needs to be. And it just kind of feels, like, drying, to be honest. And I know that's weird because, like, normally... Um, normally for Tresemme, for me, I really like their stuff. So I don't know what's going on. If my hair just needs some extra love or what. And I just used my last bit of my Vidal Salsoon conditioner, deep conditioner. And I haven't been able to find it. So I'm kind of upset about that. Because that was like my favorite deep conditioner for my hair. It just works so good. Anyway. So these were $3.99 a piece. And it says they're comparable to $6 a piece. And I don't know, I think this is supposed to be for horses, but like it works really good for human hair as well. And I don't know. Yeah, it says for human use and then it says for animal use. It kind of tells you. So I think that's really funny. And I don't know, I've heard really, really good things about this since I was younger and I never tried it for some reason. I don't know, I was just kind of like weirded out by the idea that you could use it on horses and humans, but I have heard good things like I said like 400 times by now so I don't know um it just mm, kind of has like a weird smell to it I don't really like the smell kind of smells like chemically but I don't know maybe this is more of like a natural I'm not really sure because you can use it on animals you would think it'd be more of a natural um ooh, formula but anyway okay so I think it's supposed to be for thick hair and I have thick ass hair so that's it at Ross. And then, okay, I went a little crazy at Big Lots as usual. I have two bags full of stuff here. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you guys, I saw these and I was like, no way, no way. These are by the brand called Epiel or Epeli, I'm not really sure, but they are called moisturizing socks. They have sunflower seed oil and avocado oil and vitamin E. It says relieves dry and rough skin, smooth and soften, one size fits up to 10.5 inches, secure tab prevents from slipping off. They were only a dollar and I figured, why not Well, uh, why not try it out? And it has a hydrating gel in it. That's what this one looks like. I was like, um, a foot mask, why not, right? And then this one was a dollar too, and this is the shea butter, jojoba oil, and vitamin E. So that's the other one. So I figured I'd try these and let you guys know how they are. They're supposed to be really moisturizing for your feet. And I did just purchase a foot bath. Um, it like massages, it heats up your feet. It's supposed to be like a spa, like little thing, you know, the ones that they come out with for Christmas. I got mine for 75% off because somebody returned it. And then I got it for like the 75% off sale. And I spent like $5 on it, which was awesome. So, um, but these, I was thinking about doing that first and then putting these on. I feel like it would just make a nice difference. And they are made in Korea. That's kind of funny. And you leave them on for 20 minutes. So I'll let you guys know how these work. I think they're interesting. And then I saw this intensive treatment to restore moisture, luminosity, and soften, softness. It was only a dollar as well. And this is the Garnier Skin Renew Dark Spot Treatment Mask. Deeply hydrates, boosts radiance, smooths, and revitalizes. So, I don't know. I just thought this was interesting. And the reason I wasn't going to get this originally, but then, like, I picked it up and I felt how cool it was. It felt like you can feel the coolness through the package. So, that tells me that it's probably a really good mask. So, I figured I'd try that. And I also picked up this CoverGirl. Now, I have never tried I have never tried this mascara before, but I picked it up in the two pack 
the twin pack because it was only six fifty. dollars um, They had the Colossal Mascara as well in the twin pack, but I chose this one because I, when this mascara came out, I had heard good things, but I never tried it. This is the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Lash Blast Mascara. And it says it's flake resistant, touchably soft, full lashes. And it's just in the shade black, and it comes in a twin pack. So I thought that was really, really cute. It's just like their packaging, though, is so cute. And it has Katy Perry on the back. She was the spokeswoman for it. So Katy Perry, you better not be lying about this shit. It better be good. So I don't know. We'll see. It's supposed to create volume from root to tip and combs coat. Coats lashes evenly for full separated volume. It has natural beeswax in it for your eyelashes to stay soft all day. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just thought this was interesting. And for a twin pack, I mean, you can't really go wrong because that's what you would pay for one mascara in the drugstore. So I tried that. We'll see how that goes. And then I also picked up this Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. Now, I... Ooh, now, I've never tried this out before, but it says it's 100% poreless airbrush perfection. I recently picked up this one, the Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation, and I love this one. I think it's so nice. I think that they could have done better with the color range, but I really like the feel and the texture of that stuff. So I figured I would try this, and this is in the shade Classic Ivory Light 2. I don't know. And I only paid $4.50 for it, so it was like, I was kind of like, you know what, like, I might as well just try it out, and if it sucks that bad, I'll just take it back, you know what I mean? So, but I have heard good things about this foundation, but, like, I haven't really looked into it, if you know what I mean, like, I haven't looked up tutorials, but, yeah, I was just kind of interested in it, since I really liked the, um, soft matte one. I also picked up something else I didn't need, surprise. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational um, Color Elixir, and this is in this shade, Glistening Coral, and it's a really pretty, like, corally shade, but it, these are very light, which I like, because some days I just don't feel like wearing a full lipstick, and for these light lip, gloss, uh, lip glosses, they are really moisturizing, and they're really nice, and I love Maybelline's lip products. I think they do amazing on them, so this was only $3.50, so I picked this up. They also had a whole bunch of other colors, but the other colors I already own, the ones that were going on sale. So, um, yeah, but they had like a whole bunch of different colors, bright colors. So if you're interested, I would go to your local Fig Lots and check it out. I also picked up two of these. These are called the Color Molten by iStudio from Maybelline. Now, I picked up the shade Plum Fusion and Taupe Craze. Taupe Craze is a more of a natural, neutral kind of little palette here duo, and this Plum Fusion is obviously more of like a plum. So I hope you guys can see the colors. Um, this is being filmed at night, so I do apologize if the lighting is kind of crappy, but I have a huge light, which you can see right here in the corner, um, that I have tried to put up so it kind of helps with the lighting. So I swatched these in the store. And I wasn't impressed with some of the colors. That's why I didn't pick up more. They had the whole collection of shades. And I only picked up the ones that I thought were the most pigmented when I swatched. So this one here is the plum one. They have a very interesting texture, almost like color pop shadows, but they're less pigmented. Um, but like they're still decent. Like they're not horrible. You know what I mean? Like. This one, it's kind of like a silver shade and then like a dark plum, like almost like a black shade. So I'm not really sure how much I'm going to use these, but I figured I would try them out for you guys. And I swatched this on my hand earlier, and I just want to let you know it did not come off. So that could be a good thing. Let's see. That's what the swatches look like of these. The plum one. Plum, plum Fusion. Hope you guys can kind of see. I hope my lighting isn't that shitty. I'm going to try and like <laughs> erase them with my makeup remover quickly. And this one is the taupe craze one. This one is the more neutral out of the two. 
and they do they they don't feel as bouncy as ColourPop, but they do have like that silky touch to them, which I think is really nice. These are more two wearable shades. Um, a light peach nude and a, which would be really pretty in the crease, and then a brown, lightly shimmery shade. So that's what those look like. And I have another bag. The last thing that's in here, um, I did pick up some dish detergent, but you guys don't need to see that. So this is the Aussie Anti-Frizz Cream, and it was only $2, and I love Aussie products. I know this is definitely a brand that I can trust, so I want I wanted something as a kind of almost like a um, leave-in conditioner after I get out the shower because sometimes I have problems with frizz, especially being in Florida where it's like humid and all that. So I figured I would try this, and I love Aussie, so... And you know, they they smell like really good. Their stuff smells really good. And sometimes I have like flyaways and stuff. And I just wanted to try this to massage through my wet hair. So we will see. Hopefully this is for, I think you can put this in wet or dry hair. It doesn't say. So I figure you could probably do both. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.